Good evening, Carl Johnson, Mastermind Traders. It is March 7th, Monday evening, approximately 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I thought we would do a follow-up on the last video. The last video we looked at the market, and the candlestick that we were looking at is that candlestick right there. And we said we could look at a couple trades, and we'll follow up with those here in a moment. If the market was bullish, we would do this. If the market was bearish, we would do that. Well, the market was bullish as a whole, but you can see where it opened up, and then it traded down, and then it came back up, and then it closed a little bit higher. So it moved up a little bit previous, or uh, a little bit more than the previous day's close, but not a lot. We are again approaching this 2012 resistance level. It hasn't reach that yet other than this high getting close to it but we haven't closed near it or uh, broken through it all right so with that said let's take a look at a couple trades that we were originally looking at apple well we said that we would take an apple trade if it broke above this 103.45 level and it didn't so there would have been no entry. Well, also what we said about Apple is that Apple may not trade up. We s suspected a possible pullback, a possible pullback to the 191, if you remember us talking about that on the previous video. And it did. It pulled right back to it, didn't it? Well, pretty interesting. Well, okay. Now what's going to happen? Well, now we can say, I'm going to move this out of the way here. And let me see if I can grab that. I can't seem to, here, I'm going to just move that out of the way. Now we can say, all right, it made us pull back. Now let's go ahead and see if it can trade up. And I think it should take out the open. So that would be my next entry point. So let me see if I can uh, turn that into maybe a 102.60. And that would, eh, maybe not that high. It doesn't have to go that high. Maybe 55 would suffice. Let's see it. Yeah, that would be good enough. So if it takes out that level tomorrow, well, then that could be an entry point. Where should the stop go? It's pretty darn obvious now that the stock has to be underneath the support. Okay, if we get placed into the trade. Now another place to place that stop would be right underneath the close. It all depends on how aggressive the trader is. Now this does not give the stock enough wiggle room however to move. If I was trading it this is where I would place it. And I kind of like this level. All right, right around this area. So that's about $2 of wiggle room I'm giving it. All right, the next stock we looked at was Baidu. Well, we said if Baidu would trade up above that uh, 180.20, and it didn't. It fell 20 cents short. So we would have never taken an entry. All right, so right now where that stock sits, uh, I believe we were looking at the uh, moving averages, is that uh, we said the 180.20 because it would have to break some of these upper levels above and stay above that 100. It never did. Now, it's not. I don't like where it's trading right now, so I would not reposition myself. So I would leave Baidu alone. Caterpillar. Well, we said Caterpillar would uh, we take entry if it broke up above the 73.20, and it did. So now we're making money. Okay, so now we take that entry away, and I would take my stop, and I would move it up. I would probably move my stop up to about this level. Right around there. Let's just say, uh, maybe let's see what the 95 looks like. Oh, 
Looks like I, it looks like I pushed the wrong button. So let's just say 94, 95. Let's see, 95. Get my red color back here. And I tell you what, I am just pushing the wrong buttons all over the place. So let's do that again. 95. And red. There we go. So I would, uh, right here, I would move my stop. Uh, and I'm looking for about a third of the way down the candle because I want to place it above my entry point because I still want some profit. All right, so that's where I'd probably place it. I'm going to turn that into a 20. Okay, that's where I would put my stop. So if the stock tra traded to the downside and took me out of 7420, I'm still going to make money no matter what. The only reason that the only way I'd lose money if it gapped down on the open below my entry point of today. All right, FedEx was the last one we looked at. Well, we I don't know when we were put into this trade, uh, but it looks like we said we'd trade this to the downside. So it looks like it, it all depends on which happened first, and I didn't look at an intraday chart. And what I mean by that is let's take a bigger picture. Let's take a look at a bigger picture here. It looks like, hey, we could have been thrown into the trade here and then traded to the upside and taken out here. That is possible. I didn't look at an intraday chart. But what could have happened as well is that it went up from the open first and then hit this and then came down to uh, put an entry in. I don't know which one came first. I'm going to assume that perhaps it traded down first and put us into the trade and then it came up and took us out. Now if you remember right, if, I'm going to assume that happened without taking a look at an intraday chart. But if you remember as well, is what we said is that the stop should have been placed up above the resistance. That would give it the most wiggle room. But then again, we said, well, that might be a lot of money to put at risk. So we could move it down here just, just for sake of of uh, not putting too much money at risk, but I also said this is where this this is the most uh, this is the most intelligent place to put it according to what the charts look like. And had we done it that way, uh, we could have been thrown into the put. Stock came up, hit a resistance, which is the 100 moving average. Maybe it'll bounce down again uh, tomorrow. Don't know. But uh, all these trades turned out to be a good trade. So we, if this was a real trade and we got knocked out of it, this would be one trade we would have got knocked out of, not being put into Apple or Baidu, and Caterpillar we would have made money on. So overall, good assessments. Everything came out uh, quite nicely. All right, you guys, we'll see you next time around.